We may have already revealed a number of Snapdragon 625 powered smartphones, but there isn't one that is as affordable as this one. For less than 800 ringgit, Xiaomi is here to disrupt the mid-range smartphone scene once again with the all-new Redmi Note 4. But does it have what it takes to make it a worthy purchase, or just a device that is full of compromises? I'm Warren for KL Gadget TV, and this is my review of the Redmi Note 4. Let's take a look back in history. The first Redmi Note has a lot to offer during that time. It has a huge display, a great camera, and a huge battery for 500 ringgit. If you look past of its shortcomings, it was one of the most affordable tablets to own during that time. Fast forward to the fourth generation of the Redmi Note. A lot has changed both inside and out. The Redmi Note 4 is a lot sleeker than last year's predecessor, and all thanks to a tablet age, you do find the phone to be rather comfortable to hold on hand. Not to forget the mention that Xiaomi has maintained last year's slim screen bezel on the current model. The tablet also gets a new antenna design, while its 5.5 inch Full HD display now has a 2.5D curved glass that unfortunately still gets scratches if not protected. By all means, the Redmi Note 4 is no cheap looking smartphone and it doesn't try too hard to look like one. I would recommend putting on a case as the phone's chassis is a very slippery one. The Redmi Note 4 has a very satisfying spec sheet for what you are paying for. This review unit comes with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You can expand storage by using a micro SD card that takes up the second SIM slot. Battery is non-removable with a 4100 mAh capacity. As usual with Xiaomi phones, the Redmi Note 4 comes preloaded with the latest version of MIUI based on Android Marshmallow. An Android Nougat version of the software is already available as a developer ROM, which you will need to unlock the phone's bootloader in order to flash it. MIUI has always been one of the most customizable Chinese Android skins. While I still do not like how it navigates just like iOS, the experience has been fast and reliable. Memory management is great despite having 3GB of RAM. The phone's fingerprint scanner works extremely well, and there are times I just find myself constantly putting my index finger on it naturally, just to unlock the phone to hear the satisfying unlock sound. The loudspeaker is loud enough for phone calls and casual music listening, while it lacks warmth and bass. The Redmi Note 4 rules when it comes to power efficiency. I have never find the need to charge it halfway through the day, and although it does tend to last till the following day, I usually charge the device before the day ends as the battery takes a while to be fully charged and there's no support for quick charge. The tablet also doesn't heat up when playing games or using navigation apps, and this is all thanks to the efficient Snapdragon chip. The Redmi smartphone series has rarely impressed when it comes to smartphone photography. Xiaomi has improved the main camera on the Redmi Note 4 this time. Despite shooting at 30 megapixel as opposed to 16 on its predecessor, it has a large 1.12 micron pixel size with an f2.0 aperture, which aims to offer better performance in low light. In my test, the Redmi Note 4's camera doesn't disappoint when shooting indoors with steady hands. Color saturation looks fine, but it doesn't do well in highlights. The selfie camera is the same 8 megapixel sensor from last year and it works great as usual. The Redmi Note 4 is once again the champ of mid-range Android smartphones for what it has to offer. Its super affordable price of 799 ringgit makes it extremely difficult to resist if you seriously don't care about superstar endorsed and flashy looking premium smartphones. You do however miss out features like water resistance and fast charging. But at the end of the day, this tablet delivers great performance, a decent camera and super power efficiency that no other phones can do at the same price range. Want to see more tech reviews like this? Subscribe to KL Gadget TV for weekly tech videos and don't forget to share this video if you love it. Share with us your thoughts in the comments and follow us on the usual social channels for your daily dose of tech news. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Warren for KL Gadget TV and I'll see you soon in the next one.